Hi, this is Dave. Um, recently, DeepMind published an opening book from AlphaGo. I've been exploring this book and I find so much interesting stuff that I decided I should make some videos about it. So this is my first video. Um, the first topic I want to, the topic of this video is um, this Joseki. So you may have heard of it. Um, but first let's start from an empty board. Um, AlphaGo thinks Black's win rate in this position is 47%. So black is at a slight disadvantage. I suppose this is because uh, AlphaGo was trained with a seven and a half uh, Komi, and in all its games, this this was the Komi. Um, but it may be a little bit too large. Uh, perhaps if AlphaGo is retrained with six Komi, it would be uh, fifty percent. I don't I don't know, but. Uh, AlphaGo would have to be retrained from scratch to confirm this. But from here on I'll take 47% as an indication that in human games with 6.5 Komi the game is uh, even with 47% win rate. Ok, let's move to the topic of this Joseki. Um, let's add a little context of uh, how where this arises from, which, which kind of position. Um, well, here we have this uh, position. Uh, a very common move for a uh, black is to uh, play the high approach move here. At least uh, in the 20th century, this is a common move. Um, and another move that was uh, popular in the 90s, I guess, and I think it's still popular um, for amateur players, is uh, to play the two-space high pincer. But AlphaGo uh, thinks uh, Black's win rate is now 49%. So it, yeah, meh, it doesn't seem to really like it this much. But let's see how uh, humans. Uh, play this out. Well, black plays here. Um, this is uh, not strongly connected, but uh, black intends to um, to use this uh, move, this stone that I mark with a square, as a decoy to uh, settle his triangle stone in the corner. AlphaGo actually agrees that this black move is the best move. So White continues with his uh, plan. To, if White's plan is to attack um, Black's pincer stone and build the upper side for White. And also, this uh, this stone uh, makes some potential for White on the left side especially in combination with uh, this star point in the lower left. So white wants to is just uh, very amb ambitious and he splits black shape to attack black. And black um, uh, Hanes and this is uh, the only move according to AlphaGo as well. And white extends to keep black separated and also there is now a defect here at A, a cutting point in black shape. So it's not so easy for black how yeah how to s save his stones. Um, but black uh, continues with his own plan of settling in the corner. He bumps against white stone. White uh, makes a good shape move. Uh, black uh, uh, continues with taking the corner. Uh, white connects solidly and black pushes here once. Why does he do that? Well, 
there is a cutting point at A that White is aiming at. And with this push, uh, like extends, now White, uh, if White cuts at A, Black can capture it. So that's smart, a smart idea of Black. So White Black takes takes the corner and White cuts. Or well, it doesn't work, but um, uh, White uh, sacrifices this stone to get uh, forcing moves on the outside. So Black captures this stone. White makes a lot of liberties, uh, but Black still succeeds in capturing White. Uh, white is for liberties, and he, White continues to harass uh, Black's uh, stones a little bit to get forcing moves on the outside. And this is the end result. And AlphaGo uh, thinks Black's win rate is 47%, so it's even, even result. So what's wrong with this then? Well, AlphaGo thinks both Black and White made several mistakes in this sequence. Let's uh, look at Black's last mistake. Um, Black's push here um, to defend against the cut at A. AlphaGo thinks Black shouldn't do it. It helps White. It helps White, and it's uh, White gets a lot of forcing moves on the outside. So Black uh, apparently AlphaGo thinks Black shouldn't bother to care. Shouldn't shouldn't bother about this marked stone. Just take the corner, and if White cuts then just give it away and take Sente. This is the win rate, I think, in this position. Yeah, 57%. So this is something like this. This is not actually in the database, but uh, I can infer that this would be uh, AlphaGo's evaluation. So, don't do it, says AlphaGo. Because uh, this is a 56% win rate, and this is only 47% win rate. So just it's just a, a huge mistake by Black. Okay. Then Black even made an earlier mistake, according to AlphaGo. If um, Black doesn't bother about this marked stone here, then black could even take a larger corner, like this. Now black has a 20 point corner, and uh, this is 59% win rate for black. And I think an important factor for Alvigo is that this is all in Sente, so black took a 20 point corner in Sente. And it's bad for white, according to AlphaGo. Of course, we already saw this uh, sequence in um, Master Games. So, but now we can uh, attach numbers to it. How much of an advantage or disadvantage it's, it is. Okay, let's move to an earlier mistake by white. Uh, in this position, White extended here. I think this is the most logical move. This was White's plan. But AlphaGo thinks, well, this this will lead to this. So this move is just not working very well. This cut at A is not not so great for White. So um, White should change plan actually AlphaGo thinks well this this plan doesn't work what you should do something else like this this is an existing uh, Joseki that went out of fashion this is sent for black as well I think that's a big factor because white now has 20 points in the upper left so it cannot be that bad but still this is 50% win rate for black I think the the biggest factor is that this is also sente for black. But anyway, it's a 
this is 59% win rate and this is 56% win rate. So AlphaGo thinks, well, if you went this far, this far, then you sh the best option for white is to just take the upper left uh, territory. Okay, let's move to an earlier mistake by white in this position. Um, well, if this is no good for white, because uh, it's just at least 56% win rate for uh, black, then this is a bad move. White should play this, thinks AlphaGo. But, okay, then what happens? Uh, black blocks, and what now white cuts in a different way. Okay, so what to think of this? AlphaGo thinks this is a 50% win rate for black, so black has had a slight advantage. And I kind of agree with that, I think. I mean, white's intention was to uh, make potential on the upper side and the left side and give the corner to black. Uh, but that plan didn't work out that well. I mean, white is surrounded in the corner. He has a weak group on the outside. And black is also has a weak group. But, I mean, white's whole plan when he played this two-space high pincer just kind of fell apart. So, but anyway, still, this is better, thinks AlphaGo, than... Uh, I mean, this is better um, for for white, 50% win rate for black, than this. This is 60% win rate for black. So, that's a big difference. But anyway, if this is white's best option, then maybe this pincer was wrong to begin with. It's just this whole whole white plan isn't working. Then what should white do? Well, says AlphaGo, just attach here and take the corner territory, something like this. This is would be just normal. And the funny thing is that um, this sequence is exactly the reason why Go players uh, 200 years ago didn't like black's high approach move. White gets a nice and big corner territory. territory. And uh, it's just slightly advantageous for white was their feeling and AlphaGo's feeling. Um, black does have another option instead of blocking here. Black can also play this to this could lead into a very complicated uh, variations but the main difference is that uh, with this move black focuses on taking the left side with something like this white gets the corner black takes the left side and with this move uh, black intends to build on the to focus on the upper side giving um, and allowing white uh, the left side and this is just a simple continuation there are much more complicated variation but this like this like takes the upper side so this is it um, so if black plays a high approach move just attach here it's just the best move according to AlphaGo See you next time. Bye.